Listen, I, I got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed. Nobody told Piscopo to turn his camera sideways, bud. Right? You tell him. You tell him. All right. Is this where? I, is this the part of the show where I take it from here? You you give it to me first. You got it. I'm off the screen. I'll be back in a little while. Thanks, guys. Oh man, the pressure is just mounting. Oh, Johnny you. L, my man. Listen, John, as you know, has been under house arrest since 2018, so uh, he's used to this quarantine shit, my friends. Uh, and how about me, following the great Joe Piscopo, SNL movies, comedy, radio host. When I think of Piscopo, I think of some of the great movie roles like um, Danny Vermin and Johnny Dangerously with great lines like, uh, you shouldn't kick me in the balls, lady. My sister kicked me in the balls once, once. Or dames are put on this earth to weaken us, drain our energy, laugh at us when they see us naked. That was good. Or how about his great portrayal of Mo Dickstein and Wise Guys? I mean, who can forget, my friends, the exchange when Frank the Fixer Says, you're exactly what I'm looking for, dick face. Mo Dickstein replies, please, Frank, it's Dickstein. Frank the Fixer says, I'll pick you up this afternoon, dickhead. Just classic. Love Piscopo. Joe, I love you, pal. Hey, I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy during this crazy time. Uh, you know, we're here tonight to raise money for our first responders and healthcare workers. Uh, I know times are tough for a lot of us, my friends, but listen, these folks are on the front lines and, uh, you know, tonight we are raising money for personal protection and meals. Uh, so, you know, whatever you can give, whatever amount it is, we greatly appreciate it because you've been watching the news. I mean, this is some scary stuff. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I got the sniffles. I'm like, did I get it? Did I, did I have a fever? Did this thing get me? And the other day I woke up, I had, I had an upset stomach. I was feeling kind of crappy. So I went to one of those drive through testing sites and they wanted me to take my temperature I couldn't get my ass out the window quick enough because of the steering wheel. I mean, I figured it was for a rectal test for more accuracy. Remember when you were younger, your mother, never your father, always your, your mother would stick those glass, the little glass tube thermometers with the mercury into that big jar of Vaseline and get it all gooed up. Bend over, son, I'm coming in hot. Then you'd walk around with the squishy tushy all day. Suck. You know what mercury does, my friends, at room temperature, if that glass ever breaks? It vaporizes, and if absorbed into the body, it can cause sleep disorders, agitation, and paralysis. It was almost like your mother was sticking a nuclear reactor in your sphincter. Now I'm thinking, sleep disorders, agitation, paralysis? Those are the free items that come from 20-plus years of marriage. <laughs> Anybody laughing? I can't hear anything. Listen, the good news is with this whole quarantine, if there is good news, gas prices are down. You got nowhere to go, but they're down, of course. Gas is down. Crime is down. Masturbation is up. Unless you ask my penis, then assault is up, too. I mean, I've been beating my pecker like it stole a roll of toilet paper from me. And I've watched everything there is to watch on TV. I'm so bored. I mean, I'm watching full-length porno movies with my clothes on. And I got to tell you, I love the older triple X films that took their names from the real movies. Remember like um, Saturday Night Beaver, the story of Boney Monero or White Men Can't Hump starring Wood Harrelson. One of my personal faves, uh, Little Oral Annie on Golden Blonde. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Breast, Romancing the Bone. I mean, the list goes on and on, folks. I'll stop now. Shaving Ryan's Privates. Uh, I'm done. Listen, before I pass the baton, I want to leave you with one joke that a friend of mine texted me, which he probably stole from online. A husband and wife are sitting on the sofa. They're watching TV. The husband's throwing peanuts up in the air. He's catching them in his mouth. He's having a great time. Now, while one of the peanuts is in the air, the wife says, hey, Stanley, he looks over. The peanut falls into his ear and it gets stuck. They're trying to get it, pull it out pry it out. Nothing works. They decided, you know what? We got to get this guy to the emergency room. So as the couple's walking out the door, their daughter is coming home from a date with her boyfriend. They're right at the front door. The boyfriend says, hey, listen, don't go to the hospital. I'm going to get the peanut out. Go sit down. I got you. He says, I'm going to stick these two fingers in your nose. You're going to push real hard. The peanut's going to fly out. So that's what they do. Sticks his fingers in. The peanut comes out. Everybody's happy. Daughter and boyfriend go upstairs. Wife says to the husband, wow, that was smart. He's really an intelligent kid. 
what do you think he's going to be when he gets older? The husband says, well, from the smell of his fingers, uh, looks like he's going to be your (laughs) son-in-law. Tell that to your friends. It's fine. Folks, thank you so much for having me. I want to get you to the really talented and funny comedians now because we got a lot of them. This next fella has his own half-hour special on Sirius XM. He was just featured in the New York Times, and as far as he knows, he's negative in his own thoughts. Please welcome my friends, Tom D'Addario. <laughs> 